kindly Mr. Rogers has agreed to stay with us. Jim, uh, uh, you and I were having some fun here, Rogers Holdings Chairman. And, and, and Jim, look, you, you've sat with me on this show before. You made a decision to move out of the United States, move over to Asia. Why? Well, I want my ch children to grow up speaking Chinese. I think Chinese is going to be the most important language in the 21st century, and I think the best skill, Alexis, that I can give them is to be fluent in Mandarin. I, I cannot do that in the United States. I wish I could, but I'm trying to work, make an investment in their education, just as many parents do all around the world. Okay. So investments in, in business investments right now, would you not touch the United States in terms of <coughs> investing in equity markets? No, I'm not investing in equity markets anywhere. I, I mean, th listen, the world's got a serious problem, mainly because these guys in Washington don't understand what's going on, and they're making it worse. I would love to invest in equity markets around the world, but I cannot find any I want to buy shares in, including the U.S. Okay, so what do you buy right now? Well, the only thing I know, Alexis, where the fundamentals are improving are commodities. I mean, this is all good for, for the fundamentals of commodities. I mean, farmers cannot get loans for fertilizer now, and we've got the lowest inventories in 50 years for agricultural products. Nobody can get a loan to open a mine. You're not going to see any mines open for 15 years. The world's oil reserves are in, in fairly rapid decline. So the supply of all commodities is getting better. The fundamentals at Citibank are not getting better. The fundamentals at General Motors are not getting better, but they are for commodities. And so the only place I know, other than some currencies, the only place I know to put money is into real assets. We're now going to have a period where the people who produce real assets are going to take over from the people who were money shufflers. And the, the power is moving to the, the farmers. Alexis, you should start a farm show on Fox because it's the farmers, the miners are going to be the dominant people for the next 30 years. And this but, has but happened Jim, many times Jim, in this history is, this when is you the, move. This is where you contradict yourself, okay, Jim, because you say that these guys can't get loans, right? You, they, that they can't get access to capital. Right. I understand, right? right? Depletion of supply. I get that. Great concept. But if they can't get loans, what happens? Who is responsible for getting them loans? How are we going to open up those credit markets? The fact that the whole system is massively overextended. Alexis, we had the worst credit bubble we've had in world history. Never before in world history have people been able to buy five or six houses with no job and no money down. What we had was a horrible, horrible bubble. Now, you would think we'll just wake up, just like the people in Washington. We wake up one day and everything's okay. We move on to, to new bubbles. That is totally insane. We've got to take some pain. We've got to clean out the system. I'm That's not what saying that we shouldn't take some pain. Look, the savings rate in this country is only 5%. We, the only time we got to double-digit savings rates were in the two largest recessions post-World War II. I'm not saying that. I am saying, though, that Washington, D.C. needs to do some things. They may not be getting all of it right, but if they do nothing, we make the situation only worse. What? Bureaucrats in Washington know more than the market does? Oh, Alexis, you're bad for my nervous Wait a system. second. But Tell ben me what Bernanke? Doing right. What about Ben Bernanke? What about Timothy Geithner? What about the President of the United States? You're saying that not one of them is doing anything good for this economy? I certainly am. Mr. Bernanke has been wrong for five years, seven years in a row. Mr. Guyton has been wrong for 15 years in a row. I'm saying to you, they have been disasters and they are making it worse. Jim Rogers, always a pleasure having you on. You get my blood curdling. All right, Jim, I'll leave you, I'll leave you there. Thanks so much. All right, guys.